on the next episode of AMC's Better Call Saul. Chuck, you're at a crossroads. Everybody get in the car. Is everything okay? No. What I did for me, I will do that for you. You got what you wanted. Now it's time to do what's right. What else can you do? Jimmy's just not worth it. <laughs> Saul Goodman. Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down and analyzing the newest sneak peek and promo for Season 3, Episode 6 of Better Call Saul. Warning for spoilers and let's jump right into it. Alright, so let's go ahead and start out with the 2 minute sneak peek, who works for who. This sneak peek actually focuses on Nacho and Don Hector as Crazy 8 pays them a visit, and for those of you who may need remembering, Crazy 8 here is actually the main antagonist from the first 3 episodes of Breaking Bad in Season 1, and is actually the first person Walter White ends up killing. I believe we've seen him once in Season 2 of Better Call Saul as well, but it's funny to see him show up again, so as he gives his payment to Nacho, he starts trying to explain on why he's short before Nacho even and finishes counting. As Nacho listens to his excuses, he tells him to just make up for it next time, and as Crazy 8 leaves, Hector makes a joke at Nacho's expense, asking who's working for who, implying that Nacho shouldn't let Crazy 8 walk all over him with excuses and get away with it. The sneak peek ends with Nacho looking pissed off, but we can actually see more in the promo for the episode. During the promo, we can actually see Nacho beating up Crazy 8, well it looks like his mouth and teeth are all bloody, so when does this all happen? Does Nacho go out and get him and bring him back and just beat him up, or does he wait until the next time he comes to pay? Let me know what you guys think, but moving on, another scene with Nacho shows him getting held at gunpoint by Victor while trying to grab the black bag on the table in front of them. We can see Victor and another one of Gus's henchmen at a meeting with Nacho, so is this a part of his side business? Another clip shows Hector hitting a drink off the table along with flipping it with Nacho sitting at the other end. So why is Hector mad at Nacho? Is he just mad at him for being soft with Crazy 8? Or is this Hector finding out about Nacho's side business? Moving on to Jimmy's side of things, he's shown in his car with the same people who originally helped him film his commercial for his billboard back in season 1, telling them to all get in the car. At the very end of the promo, we also hear someone saying Saul Goodman, so is this officially Jimmy filming his first commercial as Saul? We've seen the origin of the name, which came from Slip and Jimmy saying it's all good man, but now are we finally going to see the transformation of Jimmy McGill into Saul Goodman? The next thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that we can see Rebecca outside of Jimmy's office telling someone that he got what he wanted, but now it's time to do what's right. Considering it's outside Jimmy's office, can we assume that she's talking to Jimmy? So does that mean that Jimmy won the court case against Chuck? Speaking of Chuck, actually, Howard tells him that he's at a crossroad and that Jimmy's just not worth it. So I'm going to be focusing on Howard a lot in a future discussion video, but right now I wanted to discuss what exactly Rebecca meant by it's time to do what's right. What is she trying to tell Jimmy to do? It also looks like Kim talks to him about it outside of his office. So what's the deal guys? Let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments section below, along with your own predictions or theories for the rest of Season 3. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you enjoyed anything I've said today, or even subscribe for more Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad content in the near future. I'm also doing full in-depth reviews for each episode as I analyze every scene, so feel free to check out my breakdowns for every episode of Season 3 if you haven't yet already. With all that being said, that's pretty much it for the video guys, so I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Who works for who? Huh?